before we get to questions. Thank you very thank much, you. convener, and good morning, all. Um, thank you for inviting us to share evidence with the committee today and to answer the committee's questions. We will endeavour to answer all questions um, today if we can. If we are unable to do so, we'll respond in writing to the committee as is normal practice. As you mentioned, I'm Morag McNeil. I'm currently the interim chair of the CML board, and I've been a non-executive director on the board since 2014. Um, I'm joined by Eric Oscar Guard, my predecessor as chair of the board. So both Eric and I were in post when the dual fuel ferries contracts were awarded. I'm obviously joined by Kevin Hobbs, CMAL's chief executive. Kevin joined CMAL in April 2016, several months after the contracts were awarded, but he has a solid understanding of the issues that emerged in the early stages of the construction of the vessels and thereafter. And we've obviously been involved previously in both the Rural Economy and Connectivity Committee's hearings, and we were extensively questioned by and asked to provide evidence to Audit Scotland, and whose report is we consider fair and balanced and, and which we welcome. We're acutely aware that the delay in completion of these vessels is having a significant impact on island communities. They are quite rightly frustrated and worried. I would, however, say that the problems which arose around the MV Glen Sanex and Hully 2 are not representative of our past and current vessels and harbours projects and the quality of our work to support Scotland's ferry infrastructure. We have submitted lengthy written evidence to the committee as we are concerned about the accuracy of the, some of the information shared in previous sessions. This is perhaps understandable as many of those who have appeared before the committee were not in post at the time the contracts were awarded. A number of these matters are addressed in our written submission, but I would highlight particularly the announcement of Ferguson's as the preferred bidder and the subsequent award of the contracts, the issues around the refund guarantee, the acceleration of milestone payments, the dispute resolution process, and the fact that the payment of instalments of the 30 million Scottish Government loan were personally sanctioned by the expert appointed by DG Economy against designated progress events that had in reality not been achieved by Ferguson's. We're also happy to address the more technical aspects of the choice of LNG fuel, which was a requirement of CalMAX vessel specification and the sequencing of the construction of the vessels. Um, if it will assist the committee, I'm more than happy for committee members to direct questions to me and I will bring colleagues in as required. Um, the committee, of course, is free to direct questions to my colleagues. Thank you.